One of the biggest questions that I get is, I fell off track on my goals. How do I get myself back on track? Stay tuned till the end of the video where we will answer just that. Hey there, action takers, Antonio here. Here we believe that if you want to transform your life, show up no matter what. Getting to your goal or overcoming any problem takes consistent action. What happens then when you fall off track? When you stop showing up to the gym? When you stop reading every day like you said you would? When you stop working on your business? How do you get back up and motivate yourself to keep on going? Now, I used to deal with this all the time. I'm gonna describe a situation where I needed to get back up and how I was able to quickly minimize the amount of time I was down and off track on my goals. So the last few days I spent at my parents' house and since I've moved out, they have repainted my room. So all of my old stuff is in boxes. I'm talking magazines, talking old Yu-Gi-Oh cards, Pokemon cards, all these things that I used to use and play with as a kid. So I went through there and I picked up an old notebook of mine. I started to read through it. It had writings of things that I wrote about just a little bit over a few years ago. At that point in my life, I was going through a tough breakup. I had no job and was working very hard to find a new one. But as you can imagine, if at the same time I was going through a breakup of two and a half years, that affected me greatly. I would wake up in the morning and try to get something done. But then this emotional cloud of the relationship, breakup, coming into my head, it would cause me to get lost and get distracted for nearly the entire day. Now this would go on and on for weeks. I realized that not working every single day towards my goals was just not sustainable. I would be broke if I kept this up and I was quickly running out of the money I had saved up for my previous job. Now, a few months before the breakup happened to me, my mastermind partner also went through a breakup and he discovered this technique that helped him understand his emotions and get back on track. And then when he saw me going through these rough times, he suggested that I would do the same exact thing. It was to write out exactly what I was feeling, which we called notebook sessions. This is when I actively started writing in that notebook that I just found a few days ago. The reason why I was writing was because I was completely thrown off track on my goals. Every day that I wouldn't be working towards getting a job or not not having one, I knew I would not be where I wanted to be. I would have no money in my bank account. So I had that notebook and what I did was I would write out exactly how I was feeling. Now this was so liberating. It was like I was talking to a therapist that was able to get the emotions out of me without having to pay a therapist. I was feeling hurt, betrayed, and disrespected. Now just writing about your emotions is not enough, okay? because that's just venting. And once I was done writing about how I felt, I would ask myself a question. How do I solve this? What action do I take that will improve my situation? Writing and talking about how you feel is great until you realize that you're stuck with the same emotions. But when you ask yourself the question, what action can I take that will improve my situation? That is the key that allows you to find something to get back on track. Because here's the thing, emotions and being emotional are one of the main reasons why we fall off track on our goals. Think about it. You see that pizza and you wanna eat it. That's an emotion that overrides the logic that you had told yourself that you're not gonna eat the pizza. The logic knows you wanna be healthy. The emotion just chooses based off of how you feel. The emotions are what hijacks your logic and causes you to get off track. So what can you do? Get back on track by understanding why you are feeling the way you are feeling and finding an action step that you can take right now that will improve your situation. First thing, get a pen and some paper. Then start writing and don't hold anything back. Describe in detail how you feel. Then once you're done, ask yourself the million dollar question. What action do I take right now to help improve my situation? 
Now, whatever action step you find from answering this question is what you need to do right away. Now, and depending on the emotions you're feeling and the extent as to which the situation caused you a problem, you might not be able to handle this all at once right away. But with each action step, you might be able to improve it just a little bit and not be bothered by this emotion that much. Keep doing this so you can think logically and get back on track. That's exactly what I did. I started understanding why I was feeling wrong about my breakup. And then I started listing out action steps on what I can do in order to not feel this way. Do not let your emotions throw you so far off track that you never get back on. I used to be this way and I am not like this anymore. Use the technique I described here, which I call notebook session. Another way you can stay on track is by subscribing to the channel where I give you the best tips and tricks two times a week to help you transform your life by showing up no matter what. Have a blessed, action-packed day, everyone.